Hi guys and welcome to a new tutorial. We have some yarn left which we used last time. This is Vulpedia Color St. Moritz, approximately 500 meters and we're going to crochet a beanie today. This is Tunisian crochet. This one here is a 4.5 millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. We have a 4 ply high bulk acrylic yarn so you can also use a 5 or 5.5 millimeters hook. Choose always one size more for Tunisian crochet. You need also a cord, you can take the shortest. Now join both together. This is a Knit Pro system and the hook is called Knit Pro Bamboo. Please find all the links in the description box as you know. Included to the cord you will also find a key. Insert this key into the cord attachment and secure. And you will also find some cord stoppers included. You can attach them at the end of your cord to avoid losing your stitches. Start with the usual slip knot. Create a circle. Put the long strand under the circle. Pull the strand through the circle and you'll get a loop. Insert your hook through this loop and tighten. Make sure that you have loose stitches. Now we're going to chain stitches. For this yarn over and pull through. That's your chain stitch. Yarn over and pull through. You don't have to count stitches. You just need a chain which is long enough for your head size. The best thing to do is to crochet a swatch first but I will also show you an easy way. So if you have a long chain, attach it to your head and compare the size. Don't stretch the chain, it has to be loose to compare. That's our first row. And Tunisian crochet will always pick up stitches first and crochet them on our way back. Twist your chain that you can see the back pearls of your chain stitches. We'll crochet through these pearls and we will get a beautiful edging. Stitch through the next pearl. Yarn over and pull through. Leave it like this on your hook. Again, make sure that your stitches are loose. Go through the next pearl and pull up a loop. Take care that your chain does not twist. We will meet again if you pick up all the stitches Use the cord for your stitches. So I picked up all the stitches as you can see. I took off the stopper because the cord is long enough and now we're going to crochet the stitches. For this yarn over and pull it through the first stitch. It's just a chain stitch. Now yarn over and pull through two stitches. Again yarn over and pull through two. Repeat this until the end of the row. So we have at the beginning a chain stitch and then all the way through two. Always all the way through two. This is how it looks like so far. We have a nice edging. For the brim we will crochet two knit stitches and two purl stitches and then alternate. This way our brim won't roll. 
So, for the knit stitch, insert your hook under the next vertical stitch and stitch through your work. Then yarn over and pull up a loop. One more time. Under the next vertical stitch and through the work. Yarn over and pull up a loop. For the purl stitch, take the yarn to the front. Again, go under the vertical stitch, but stay on the front side. Wrap your yarn around the hook and pull up a loop. So that's your purl stitch. One more time. Yarn to the front, go through the next stitch, wrap the yarn around and pull up a loop. Now two knit stitches. two purl stitches, and so on until the end of the row. So that's our brim pattern and all stitches are picked up. Now we're going to crochet this. And it works the same way as before. Chain one stitch at the beginning and then pull all the way through two. Our first brim row is done. Repeat the steps until your brim is big enough. I would recommend at least five rows. So you do the same as before, two knit stitches, two purl stitches, and again two knit stitches and two purl stitches, and so on. Crochet the stitches on the back row as usual, and we will meet again when your brim is done. That's my brim so far. Now we're going to switch from this ribbing pattern to the stockinette stitch pattern. For this we're going to crochet only knit stitches. This will be super easy and you get a very nice look. So you go through all your stitches and pick up knit stitches. At the end of the row we are going to crochet the same way as usual, chain one first and then pull through two. Repeat this until your beanie is long enough. That's our beanie so far. We have a length of 23 centimeters. Now we're going to decrease to get a round shape. But before we need to know how many stitches you have in a row. I have here 61 stitches and we divide our stitch number by 8. 
61 divided by 8 is 7 point something, so I'm going to round up and choose number 8. That means I'm going to decrease every stitch number 8. Start counting at your hook, so you have already number 1 on your hook. We continue crocheting the stockinette stitch and count as we go. Number 2, that's number 3. Number 4, 5, 6, and 7. For the decrease, we go under number 8 and 9. Stitch through your work at number 9, and then pull up a loop. Make sure you're not stitching through number 9 again. And number 10 will be number 1 and we start from the beginning. Again a decrease through number 8 and 9. And that's now our number 1 and so on. If you don't have enough stitches at the end of your row, if you have maybe only four or five, just crochet them without any decrease. On the back row you crochet the same way as usual, chain one and pull all the way through two. In the next row we do not decrease. This is our third decreasing row and in this row we will decrease number seven and eight one stitch less than before. This counts as number one, then number two, number three, four, five, and six. Decrease number seven and eight. Number nine will be our number one again. And we start from the beginning. The fourth row will be without decreasing. In row 5 we will decrease the sixth stitch. The sixth row will be without decreasing. In row 7 we will decrease the fifth stitch. And so on. You have always one row decreasing and one without. Repeat this until you have approximately 8 stitches left. That's our beanie after decreasing and ready for sewing. You can use your tapestry needle. I will show you how to use your hook so you don't have to change your tool. I have 8 stitches left and now I'm going to pick up all the 8 stitches. Then yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops on your hook. Now tighten. Then turn your work inside out. We can take off the cable. Your tunation hook is now a usual crochet hook. In addition, you can use some markers to secure your beanie in place if you like. First, I'm going through the first stitch one more time to secure the ring. Yarn over and pull the yarn through all loops on your hook. This is a slip stitch. Then you just work a slip stitch into each stitch. Go through the next stitch and also through the opposite stitch. Yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. One more time through the next stitch, also through the opposite stitch, and slip stitch, and so on until the end of your beanie. That's how it looks like. This is the seam after slip stitching, 
At this point, you can cut the yarn and pull it through the last stitch. Then you can sew all the loose ends. And that's your finished beanie. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye.